sanctuary, the narrow gate, the quiet path, presence, pleasure, as the listening ear draws near. Good morning, everyone. This is Janie Seltzer, Janie Poet, spiritual director for the Zig Ziglar community around the world and everyone who needs some motivation and growth in their life with Christ. As you can see, the Sacred Garden has seven sacred signposts to help you in your spiritual journey. And we're going to head up the hill with Rudy in the lead. If he stays on the path and doesn't lose his way, good morning, good morning. I'm going to turn the phone around and say hello to all of you. Hi there. It is good to be with you this morning. And I am resonating so deeply in my soul. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Today, as we walk up the hill, we're going to talk about and be um, taking a 10 minute look at, oh, look at this, friends. Look at this, friends, yes. Hello, Nettie. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Martha. Hello. Uh, hi, Heather. Good morning. It is radiant here this morning, and it is a pleasure to share it with you. This is the Lord's garden and something that he planted in my heart to see. You know, I'm going to be speaking today about pilgrimage of the heart and would like to just point out at the beginning of this brief time together as the sun is showing us its glory and its beauty that every day can be a pilgrimage of the heart if we will approach it that way. Yes, it is a beautiful morning and I hope and pray, Lord Jesus, would you guide and direct every thought and every word for your glory. This I pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. So here we are. And if you have a Bible, I'd like to turn your attention, um, come with me as I get situated here. <laughs> it's always, there we go. I think that might work. If one of our sweet dogs doesn't knock over the, uh, the camera, this will work. So Rudy says, who me? Would I do that, mom? Yes, he would. He wouldn't mean to, of course. And I have Sweden sitting underneath me, so we'll see how this goes. Hi, Emmanuel. Good to see you. You know, hugs to all of you. I see you, Karen Booth. Hugs back to you. Friends, if you are new in this space, I want to tell you once again that everyone is welcome here. It is a place I follow Christ. And every day, he is my North Star. The Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, is the one who is my shepherd, the shepherd of my soul. And as I was um, drifting into sleep last night, Psalm 84 came to my heart and mind. It was a lovely way to drift into sleep. And if you're not familiar with Psalm 84, you'll understand why as I read it to you now and then share with you a few things that the Lord has shown me today in regards to Psalm 84. Okay, if I get situated, we'll be good, right? Um, okay, here we are. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, of hosts. My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. 
at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways, are the highways to Zion. Let me read that again. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. Hmm. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with, with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. O oh, Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O oh God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O oh God. Look on the face of your anointed, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Hmm. There are just a little backstory here. Um, this psalm was sung often by the people of Israel as they were headed up to Mount Zion. You know, Jerusalem is on a hill in southern Israel. And as the pilgrims, and it's not a, it's not a, a little hill because I remember going up the hill in a bus and we were singing, we were singing songs of praise to God, hallelujahs to God as we were headed up this glorious hill into Jerusalem. But these were pilgrims um, for years. They would make the trek back to Jerusalem and they would sing Psalm 84. It was one of the Psalms that they would sing. And this is a pilgrim song for each and every one of us. For Zion, even though Jerusalem is still a very precious, it is the city of the Most High God, it is a precious place. Wherever God is, is our Zion. Is he with you, friends? Wherever God is, is our Zion. Is he with you this day? If he is not, then perhaps, or if you do not sense his presence, perhaps it is because you have not turned your face towards him for this day. To greet each day in the presence of God is to be a pilgrim throughout the day, to begin with him and to end with him, to walk with him through the, the beautiful places and the valleys of Baca. We don't even know what that term means. Biblical scholars are not sure, but they are sure of one thing. It was a dry land. And on the way up, it makes total sense to me actually, seeing the land around Jerusalem, there were very, it was very parched and dry, except where there were pools of water. And that is our life, you see, where every day we decide, I want to go up the hill to Zion. I want to behold my God. And as I move through my day, there will be valleys. There will be, it is life. We must accept reality. And reality is life has its beauty as I'm seated in right now. And it also has its dry and difficult, arid places. And God is always with you, always. There are three blesseds in this Psalm. Verse four, verse five, and then verse 10. And let me reiterate them to you. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. And there we are, hmm. ever singing your praise. Can you even imagine 
being in the presence of God and not being over not being filled and overflowing with praise for God we know and we're actually told in this psalm is a sun and a shield think about that for a moment he's our warmth and he's our protection so when we're close to him we we're filled with praise and glory because of him not because of us not because of our circumstances because he's our son he's our sunshine i have a friend she may be listening right now her name is nisi who calls me sunshine well any sun in me is a reflection of the lord god almighty as i remain with him the sun shines in my soul and when i go through valleys throughout the day and throughout all of our life, I, I, I lean in to him as shield. Even if the warmth of the sun um, doesn't necessarily show with joy on my face, there's a sense of warmth. There's a sense of protection and refuge. For his place is a lovely place. That's how the psalm begins and it's how I feel. And I pray that you will know it too. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. That's the, those were the words that permeated my heart as I drifted into sleep last night. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. If you, friends, don't understand that God is beautiful, I want you to invite you to consider that possibility. To not see God as a fearsome ruler that, that forces you to do things you don't wanna do or who always stands over you with a big stick. Um, perhaps you were raised in a home with believers who were constantly correcting you and telling you what you did wrong instead of what you did right, and that lingers with you. You know, become people who see the good and, and work with the bad, or try to reinforce and help the bad, but see the good in others. Think first of what is right instead of what is wrong, because that's what God does for us. He sees us as to who we're going to be, not who we are at this very moment. That's how God sees us. Is your glass half empty or half full? Do you feel that about yourself? I'm half empty. May I encourage you to see you are half full. And if you will see that, then you can more deeply enjoy the loveliness of the Lord God and let him fill you to overflowing. So blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Number two is blessed are those whose strength is in you. Um, I, I, I just have to share on a personal note that um, Revelation chapter three, there's, there's big portions of it. This is where, God, where the Holy Spirit is speaking to the churches. And there's a big portion of it, um, the church at Philadelphia, where, that I relate to in many ways. And in that, in, in that section, it says something about, your strength is small, but you have kept my word. And I treasure that because, frankly, I feel like oftentimes my strength is small, even though I'm, some see me as the energizer bunny. If I'm energized, it is the Lord God within me. He is my energy. That's what strength means. He is my power, and he can be yours as well, even if your strength is small. Let the Lord God fill in those holes. Let him take you from strength to strength, which is exactly what verse um, six says. As they go through the valley, I'm sorry, verse seven, they go from strength to strength. And when I picture that like a ladder, you put your foot on the ladder and you, and you feel the strength of that step, but you've gotta be willing to step up to the next rung in the ladder. And maybe you don't feel strong enough to do that you're tired 
Lord, ask the Lord God, oh Lord, put my foot on that next rung in the ladder. And he will. He will help you. He will uphold you with his strong and everlasting arms. And then thirdly, blessed are those who trust in you. And there is the summation of the whole psalm. For as the pilgrims were heading towards Jerusalem, by their very pilgrimage, they were showing by the movement of their bodies. You know, we're whole people, mind, body, spirit. And as we move in the direction of the Lord God, we are exhibiting our trust. You say to me, well, Janie, I feel like my, my faith is small. Friends, it is, we, he doesn't ask us for great faith. He asks us for a little faith in a great big God. So if you have a little faith and you move yourself towards the light, you move yourself towards the radiant and beautiful face of the Lord God Almighty who calls you to himself, you are walking in trust. Your very life just rebounds or resounds, I should say, with trust. So, friends, Psalm 84, how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. Yes, yes, yes. His dwelling place is the place we drink deeply of his presence and we, we take in his strength. We take in his heart. We take in the, his warmth and his protection. And with that, I'll end today with our devotional. This is a poem called Do, and this is how you renew in the presence of the Lord God. As plants renew in early morn, so spirit spills fluid gold fills pores, heals wounds, as strength seeps through. Renews joy, warm weight, the bright of life, flows unseen from a living well, presence of the living God, ah, sweet drink of life. Close your eyes and let your soul renew now. As plants renew in early morn, so spirit spills fluid gold, fills pores, heals wounds as strength flows through, renews joy, warm weight the bright of life flows unseen from a living well presence of the living god ah sweet drink of life holy father thank you that your desire is that we would be pilgrims every day moving towards you renewing in your presence, finding that sweet drink of life. I pray for my friends around the world that they would experience that sweet drink, that they would know how lovely is your dwelling place, O oh Lord of hosts, for you are a sun and a shield. Thank you, Lord, thank you for being our sun and our shield. Protect my friends around the world. Uphold them when they feel weak. Renew them with joy and sunshine, even if their circumstances are dry and arid. And for those who are ill, Lord, would you lay your hand of healing upon them and renew their bodies with your healing power open doors of opportunity for those who need a job, who need finances. You have promised your children will never go begging for bread. Oh, Father, God, Abba, Daddy, oh, we love you. Thank you for being good. 
for being merciful, for being so lovely, so beautiful. We love you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory. In your holy name we pray, amen. Friends, if this devotional has been meaningful to your soul, would you share it on your Facebook page? And most of all, would you continue to seek the Lord God and find how lovely he is? Continue to be a pilgrim every day, every day, pilgrimage of the heart. Until next time, hope to see you Sunday with Pastor Dawn. Goodbye.